we're going to talk about home decluttering tips. Start with five to ten minutes at a time and take a minimum of one item and throw it away or give it away. Donate clothes, jackets, and other items you don't want or no longer use anymore. Make a decluttering checklist of areas that you find cluttered and look messy. View your home as a first time visitor. Walk in your house and pretend you're walking into a stranger's house. And make a list of things that you think are good or bad, clean or dirty, and uh, see what kind of changes you think that needs to be done. You could also include projects, furniture moving, cleaning, particular areas, organizing, and also the declutter. Get help. Ask a friend or family to come over and have them give you suggestions of different things that can happen in each room or different areas of the house that would help you organize and or declutter. Use the two box or bag method. Take two boxes or two bags, label them either trash or giveaway, Go into the rooms one by one and put things in the trash or giveaway. Does it mean you have to throw them away at that moment or give them away at that moment? The first step is to put them in separate boxes. They can sit for a while before you make a permanent decision and it may take days or weeks or months to actually go through this process and that's okay. Some items we're not sure if we still need them or if we're going to use them again and sometimes we have emotional attachments to those items. But at the same time we're thinking well, that's cluttering my space and why do I still have that? But I might use it. But I have this really great memory. So it, it's, it's a process. Give it time and space for it to happen. Removing clutter and organizing your house can take time. It could be done over a period of time and sometimes we have to do it on a regular basis, especially if we have been living in one place for a long time. We have it great and organized. We collect things and we have to reorganize and donate and throw away stuff. So it's a continual maintenance of decluttering and organizing and cleaning our house. With fewer messes and distractions, your home can become a peaceful place. Instead of a source of stress, choosing to declutter is a personal and emotional choice. When you find yourself overwhelmed, stressed, or tied down by your possessions, it usually means that you're ready to start making changes. 